Hello guys, this is your friend James from UX Bootcamp. Welcome back. Today I'm gonna introduce you a nice plugin inside of Figma, help you to create 3D, beautiful 3D icons without any basic knowledge of the 3D software. Okay, let's begin. First thing first, we need to find this plugin called the Victor to 3 d you are able to find it, click here, plugins, then click here, manage plugin, and search for it. And after you search Victor 2 3D, it will become here. It's basically your history list. So when you see this, this means uh, the layers are transferred to these plugins. And this is, looks really not very good, but after several clicks, we will make this beautiful 3D icons. Let's click render product and uh, 1024 pixels. Yeah, now it looks a little better. Uh, it will keep you waiting. It just really depends on your capabilities, uh, the computer capabilities. Then we need a background, so we can click here, open the background color. Let's click the more permanent uh, color, like the very orange one. Yeah. Okay, so this is a wall. We have a ground and wall and none, three options. So as you can see, ground is a little bit nice the environment with the gentle colored background uh, and we can start our journey so first uh, impression is all the layers are giving the 3d values already so uh, what we need is uh, for the west we need to use the revolved then it will become something that we would like to it to be and we can give a uh, material like the very very steel very metal stuff or we can tweak tweak the materialic or we can get another different uh, different material and for this we can use the inflant make it down a little bit and uh, changing the thickness to one and for this lifts let's first thing we tweak it at 0 0.5 and uh, we can change the dimension a little bit to make it connect And we can give them a uh, material. This is a glossy plastic. This is my favorite because the uh, the color, the reflections are perfect. But we can try a different one for sure. Uh, maybe transparent one. Oh, so the lifts becomes transparent. Oh, nice, interesting. And for the flowers, the white portion, we can try something like this and change the thickness. And for the inside also, yeah. And we can click all the portion and pull it down a little bit. Hmm, isn't that very nice? The flower with the different materials. Quite interesting, right? But when we want to tweak the size of the vest, we can either changing the uh, vector elements inside of the Figma or we can change in the value from here, the scale. Yeah, here. We can change to uh, 0 0.6 and tweak the position a little bit. Isn't it nice? 
and we create this beautiful 3D icons in less than five minutes. <laughs> and this is not even the all the functionalities of the Victor to 3D. They also have this button called the render animation. So when we click here, we are able to change in the value of the uh, animation. When we click the start render, it will render the animation, but we don't want to spend a lot of time on this. So we can have the preview of the animation. So click here. Uh, this will give us the edit uh, version of the, uh, the uh, 3D model. Uh, and we can click here to preview the animation. So you can imagine how it looks when it's uh, rendered. And uh, if we want to insert this beautiful uh, icon to our Figma, we can click. We can click here, insert. So once we click here, the image will insert to our Figma. Isn't it very nice? And we can control the size of the objects. Also, uh, we can click here. And after we tweak our um, model, we can click Updates in Figma. So we can see the image already refresh. I think this is a very nice uh, plugin inside of Figma. So you don't need to open the uh, like uh, Cinema 4D or Blender, but you just have a double uh, several clicks inside of the Figma plugins, and you will get this. This is quite nice. I hope you like it and give it a try. Okay, don't forget to subscribe my channel and give a comment if you have any questions. See you next one. Bye bye.